Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Our Small Footprint. My name is Nissa, and if you're new here, we are a family of eight who live off-grid in Australia. This morning, we are going to harvest the potatoes. It's supposed to rain for the next three days, so I want to get them out before we get this last lot of rain. The potato patch hasn't done as well as I would like, but from the bandicooting that I've done, there's still quite a lot of potatoes in there. So we're going to pull them out so that we can use them for Christmas food, do potato salad and things like that with fresh new potatoes, which is absolutely lovely. I may even try and get Daryl to get the new charcoal grill barbecue that we that mum bought me for Christmas out and we can uh, roast some potatoes in there which would be really nice so we're going to give that a go so I wanted to show you what it looks like a bit close up and then I'll just set up the camera to show us all harvesting them we got about 70 kilos of potatoes last year I do not expect to get anywhere near that this year the plants have not done anywhere near as well and the rain has been a significant issue so let me show you what it looks like underneath and why I'm not expecting a huge harvest but anything that we do get is beneficial so I thought I'd bring you along to let you have a look and uh, see how it goes. <music> So if you look here, the plants are all dying off. They're all browning off, which is when you'd normally harvest. And this is around about the time of the year that I would harvest it. But when you pull the, the straw back, there's still a lot of straw here. And normally this would have broken down by now. So I think uh, we may have just done the straw a little heavy for the weather this year. And then with the rain, it's gotten a bit... The plants have been damaged from... Like, instead of just dying off, it's like they've rotted a little bit at the base of them. So they're not as healthy as normal. Like, there's, the plants have died rather, been damaged and died rather than just dying off. So when you pull the plants up, we've still got plenty of these potatoes. They're just small. Um, and they're going to be super tasty as new potatoes but we're just not going to have the huge uh, harvest that we had before. And because the plants have sort of died off and come back a little bit, there's a lot of little seeds. Like this would be a potato if it was left long enough. So I think what's going to happen is there'll be a lot left behind and we'll get a second flush of potatoes and we might be able to get some more. So this potato here is the mother potato. That's the potato that was planted. And this is the plant that has grown off that. But you can see that there's lots of little little tiny bits and we'll leave them behind we'll take the leaves the leaves have to be composted potato plant leaves are poisonous you can't feed them to the animals so the leaves just get composted but a lot of these little potato bits will be left behind and we will there's five months till our first frost so we will probably get quite a few plants that pop up again in that period of time and we'll get a second flush of just small potatoes again they're really nice to eat small potatoes it's just we're not going to have any excess for storage or anything else and that's fine I still think I need to pull all this up before these next few days of rain and just get what we get use them over Christmas and then rebed we'll pull this straw aside while we're doing it and then I'll try and loosen it up a bit and rebed the beds with it and I might plant something else in here as well uh, to give that next five months because it won't fill up with potatoes so there is still some fairly green stuff in here but I think I'm just going to go through and pull it all because as you can see there's a lot that's not green anymore so uh, there's a lot of spots that have all died off there's a few that I've dug around in just to have a look at what's going on so I'm just going to pull it all we got a bit slack with the weeds too and they've overtaken the paths again a bit here we put the cardboard down but then didn't get around to putting the wood chips on it so stuff's grown up through the cardboard but that's that's what happens when the gardens have been as shocking as they have so we're just going to get in here pull everything we get what we get and we will appreciate anything that we do get so uh just gonna get in and get started so i'll set up the other camera so that you can just have a look at how we go and uh, enjoy <laughs>
Apollo hey, found a worm while he was digging up potatoes. We're gonna go and put him into one of the beds where the plants are growing now. We don't have many worms in our gardens yet, so seeing them is always a good sign. So we got them all harvested. So this is what we ended up with. Not a huge amount, I haven't weighed them yet, I will weigh them. We did have some issues with scab, which I knew was going to be a possibility because we had scab last year as well. Uh, I did try and reduce the nutrients in the soil to counteract this because scab is usually caused by uh, too many nutrients in the soil and we had fresh uh, pig manure that went in the garden last year so I think that was the cause of it last year so I did try and reduce the nutrients this year but we still had some these ones here are the ones that are worst affected so this one's like fully covered in scab now scab does not affect the potato itself all it means is that it needs to be peeled to be used so there is no the inside of these is perfectly fine it just means that you need to peel them. Uh, they're a bit wet at the moment because they've just come out of the soil. So peeling them would not be very easy and they're very unpleasant to, to handle. Uh, but I'm gonna leave them in this box. I'm gonna spread them out in this box and let them dry out. And I will use them. Obviously they won't store long-term either because of the scab. Some are worse affected than others. That one's actually not too bad. Should probably be in the other pile, um, but some are well and truly covered. So what I'm just gonna do is spread these out in this cardboard box and leave them somewhere dry to dry out. And then eventually I will use them by peeling them first. We did have this half of the box here also has some scabbing, just little bits and pieces, which is fine. Again, it doesn't affect the potato itself. It just needs to be peeled off. You just don't wanna be eating those scabby bits. Uh, they're not gonna hurt you, but I'd imagine the texture wouldn't be real pleasant. So this half of the box here all has a little bit of scabbing some a little bit more than others that sort of thing this side here is all nice and clean skinned uh, nothing wrong with these at all they're all perfectly good and then this basket here has a lot of the smaller ones because i'm going to wash these up and use these for potato salad so and these are all really clean skinned as well because i won't be peeling these ones a couple have some really thin skin obviously just not just haven't been in the ground for as long as they really should be. So any that you damage the skin with when you're uh, harvesting them, they will not last very long either. So any that I see that I've damaged the skin or peeled off, they will need to be used fairly quickly. So I put this one just aside so I saw that. There is a few here that have some bug damage in them too. So like this one's definitely got something that's been chewed on in there. And there's a couple with holes there. Again, these can just be those bad bits can just be chopped off and it can be the potato can be used so I put these ones aside as I found them so that they can be used first up so that they have those pieces have don't have a chance to rot or anything else and they can just be cleaned up chopped off peeled and used in meals first up and then we'll use the next ones that are next damaged and then the ones that are nice and clean and healthy will last the longest in a box in the shade you don't want them in sunlight or they'll start sprouting and we will use those ones last so i will weigh them up too and i'll put the uh, end weight up on the screen as well and i'm going to make start cleaning up those little ones and start boiling them up to make potato salad as well because we have an overabundance of eggs at the moment as well so we're going to make a big batch of potato salad uh, use some of the egg yolks for the mayo and a whole lot of boiled eggs for in the potato salad and things like that so i'll bring you along for that as well so that was this year's 2022 potato harvest it was better than i expected uh, but nowhere near as good as last year so i'll put a photo in here too of what last year's harvest looked like uh, as i said there was 70 kilos last year from the harvest last year and we didn't even use all of the beds that we used this year so uh, but I will put a picture of that in there as well. So thank you for joining us for today and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye guys.